Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. This is Anton, and today I'll show you how to upload your first sketch to your Arduino. In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to set everything up for the first time. Now that you've done that, open the Arduino IDE and connect your Arduino to your computer with a USB cable. This time, instead of writing our own code, we'll be using one of the preloaded sample sketches. To open it, head to File, Examples, Basics, and select Blink. Notice the sample sketch opens in a new window, so you may close the one you already had open. Most Arduino boards have an LED connected to their digital pin 13. This sketch turns that LED on and off in one second intervals. I'll explain how the code works in the next tutorial, but for this one, I want to focus in the process of uploading any sketch to your Arduino. So let's imagine this is a brand new sketch you just finished writing. First of all, save your work. To do this, go to File, Save As, and choose a location where you want to save your sketch. Then click Save. Now, you want to make sure your sketch has no mistakes. To do this, Verify your sketch by clicking on the checkmark icon in the upper left corner. But first, I will purposely mess up the sketch so you see how this works. The IDE will start compiling the sketch. If it finds any errors, it will tell you the ones found in the orange text at the bottom. And it will also highlight the code generating the error. After correcting the mistakes, if any, verify the sketch once more. If the sketch is fine, the text at the bottom will be displayed in white and will review some stats about the sketch. Now, you'll want to upload the sketch to your Arduino. To do this, click the icon with an arrow pointing to the right in the upper left corner. The IDE will compile the sketch and send it to your Arduino. If the upload is successful, the white text will appear again at the bottom of the screen. You'll also see a message that says, Done Uploading. Soon, you'll notice an LED that blinks in one second intervals in your Arduino board. Now, you have successfully uploaded your first sketch. It is important to know that this code will run in the Arduino as long as it is powered on. Disconnecting the Arduino from the computer or eliminating any other power source will not erase the code in it. Once it is powered again, the code will start running as well. Well guys, that is all for this tutorial. In the next one, you'll learn how the basic parts of this and any code work. Important links will be listed down below, as well as a few cheap Arduino boards and kits that I recommend from Amazon to get you started. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.